What's up, folks? Thanks again for tuning in with InfoSec Pat. What we're going to be doing today is video one of the Windows Server 2022 training course. So if you guys are familiar, I did have a course or a playlist of Windows Server 2019 with a whole bunch of videos on setting up Active Directory, DNS, DHCP, WSUS. Uh, I forget, a whole bunch of, of, of things. You could check out that playlist. So this is going to be brand new for Windows Server 2022. So like I always say, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome back. Please like, subscribe, and let's get into this fun stuff. I'm looking forward to developing this course. We're going to be, you know, starting from scratch. So get your virtual box, your VMware, whatever you're going to be using, and let's follow along. All right. So let's just do a little who am I? You guys are probably familiar with who I am. My name is Pat, aka InfoSec Pat. And I am a father. I am a dad. I love hockey. I'm a sports lover and bowling. I have over 15 years experience in the IT field. And I worked as a sysadmin, network admin, IT manager. And now I'm in the cybersecurity space as a cybersecurity professional. I hold many IT certifications like the MCSC, the MCITP, CCNA, CCNP, CCDP, VCP, and the list goes on. And these are some of my cybersecurity certifications like the ECPPT, OSCP, OSWP, CISSP, SSCP, EC console instructor, certified ethical hacker, etc. You guys get the gist, All right? So, what are we going to need for this course? What are you going to need to follow along in this video? So, what we're going to be needing is a Windows Server 2022 ISO. You need VirtualBox. That's what we're going to be setting up these VMs in. And we're going to be needing a Windows 11 or Windows 10 ISO for the client. But we're not going to be doing that today. We're just going to be installing 2022. And then open mind to learn and have some fun. All right. So what we're going to be doing tonight is installing Windows Server 2022. And we're going to be going out and browsing out to the ISO, installing it, rebooting, logging in, and making sure it works. And then we'll continue the process. So let's just minimize this now. Remember, these are the first four slides, and we're going to build on from there. So I want to go ahead and open up my virtual box. Like I said, I'm going to be installing everything from virtual on virtual box. So give me a second. I want to go ahead and open up where I have my folder with all my ISOs and all that good stuff. Perfect. I got it. First, if I don't have that open and ready to go, I'm going to have some problemos. Okay. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and hit a new virtual machine. So in here, we're going to be, I want to put Windows Server. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to put Win 2022. Okay. And my machine location, I'm going to change this. I want to actually put it on a external drive that I have here. So let's go ahead and copy that location. And I want to put that here. Okay. And it's going to be Windows Server 2022. Let's see if we have that option. We do not. So we can just use 2019. That should be fine. Go ahead and I want to go ahead and put, I'll put six gigs for now. That should be fine. We can increase it, decrease it as we need it. We're going to go ahead and create a new virtual disk. That should be fun. Hit create. And VDI VirtualBox disk image is perfectly fine for me. And we're going to go ahead and do alloc dynamically allocated. So, you know, if we don't use the full disk, so be it. If we do fi fixed size, say for example, we do a 100 gig drive, it's 100 gigs. So if we do dynamic, it's 
then we do 100 gigs and we only use 20 gigs, it's only gonna have a file size of 20 gigs. All right, so here I'm actually gonna do, I'll do 100 gigs. No, you know what, I'll do, let's do, let's do 70 gigs. I'm gonna do 70. Okay, so we have this created now. So before we actually get into installing it, I wanna go ahead and group this, right? And in this new group, I wanna rename the group and put Windows Server 2020 22 YouTube, okay? Because this is for YouTube. Perfect. All right, so this is gonna be our first server, right? So let's go ahead and go to settings. We have to do a few things before we get started. I wanna to go to advanced. I wanna do bi-directional for drag and drop so I can drag stuff from my local host to my VM if needed, right? System, I wanna go ahead and go to processor and I wanna do two processes, that should be fine. And I wanna enable PAE, NX, and enable nested virtualization. I always do this just for my sake. Okay, so we can enable 3D. I enable this all the time and use the most. So that should be good. I'm just showing you how I do it. So audio is fine. Network, we're gonna go ahead and create a new network, but we'll do that later. Let's just use well, you know what, let's do this now, added network, and before we actually do that, let's go ahead and go to tools, preferences, because I don't know my network IPs. No, that's no good. So 192, no 168, that 199. Perfect. So I want to put, let's see, Windows, Server 2020 YouTube, just so I know. And that should be fine. I put YouTube here. Let's see, what, what network is this? All right, but well, we're gonna do 192.168.199. I think that's easier to remember. All right, so let's go to settings, go to network, go to NAT, NAT network, and then YouTube, perfect. All right, so now let's go ahead and hit OK. Oh, there was one more thing I want to do. Sorry. Go to settings. Go to system. So I want to remove floppy because I don't need a floppy. I want to have my hard drive be my first bootable drive and then the opt optical drive my second bootable drive. OK. I think this all looks golden. All right, let's hit OK. Let's double click, power this bad boy on, start it. Give us a moment to start. start. All right, so here we're gonna go ahead and browse out to my server 2022. Let's go ahead and bring that baby over here. So let's go ahead and add. And then I want to go out to my D drive. And right here is my 2022. Perfecto. All right, choose that. Start. Make this bigger. And we have it crack a lacking. It's going. It's loading some files. It's going through its merry way. And folks, I did install a 2022 video. I believe in the beginning of the year, I don't remember, but this is going to be a part of this course. So we're gonna build upon this. So let's follow along. Let's hit okay, English, hit install now. And we'll give this a moment. All right, perfect. So what we have here is we have the standard edition, 
we have standard edition with desktop experience. What the desktop experience means is that you have a GUI. If you want just core or just a command line, you'll just do data center, excuse me, you'll just do evaluation, copy, just standard or data center. I want to go ahead and do data center with desktop experience. Why not get the fanciness, right? So let's go ahead and hit next. Let's go ahead and accept the license next. And I want to go ahead and custom and I want to install it right here. Should be perfectly fine for me and hit next. We'll let this do its merry thing. Oh, go on its merry way, shall I say. And we'll let this do its thing. We'll come back and we'll resume once this is good to go. All right, guys. So that's just completed. So let's go ahead and reboot that bad boy. And it's going to reboot now. And then we'll continue doing the configuration. And I want to say, if you have any problems throughout the process, just leave me a comment below. I'll try to address it as soon as I can. But hopefully you guys enjoy this course or this, these videos, just like I got a lot of good feedback of on the 20, 2019 playlist. So hopefully we get some good feedback on the 2022 playlist. I actually miss doing uh, Windows administration, system administration. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I just miss it, you know? So doing these videos, reinforcing the stuff that I've learned many years ago, tinkering with it, you know, today is just phenomenal. You know? Can't really beat that. So we'll just wait a second while this is getting ready. And in my situation, it might be a little slower than yours. It all depends on where you're putting your your VDIs, your virtual hard drives. Like I said, I'm putting mine on a external drive. The reason being is because my internal drive doesn't have enough space to accommodate for this whole course. I don't want to start putting one VM here, one VM there. I'd rather just have everything in the same location. Perfect. So once you get to the customized settings, we will put a fancy password. You can just do whatever you want. Now I'm just gonna put a password there. And now we have this installed. There's a few other steps that we need to do, but let's log in first. Let's do a quick control alt delete. So input keyboard control alt delete. And then we should be good to go. All right, let me log in with my administrator account. So once this is good to go, we should be, uh, I want to install the VirtualBox tools, the guest tools. And then in the next video, what we'll do is customize the desktop, change the IP address, change like the computer name and do all that fancy stuff. So we're almost done here. Just hang tight. I know folks, it's late over here. It's 11 p.m. So uh, hopefully you guys are, wherever you are, you guys can enjoy this. All right, so let's just go ahead and go to settings. Let's go, okay, yes, that's fine. Go to settings, insert guest additions, okay. And we can X out of all this. We'll get to this shortly. We'll get to this in a minute. Not in a minute, in, in the next video. So once we have installed, inserted that, let's insert it again. Go ahead and open up floor. Okay, there it goes. All right, so we can go ahead and run the application. And go to next, next. Next. And the reason why I'm installing this, you'll see shortly, it'll get bigger the screen and then like we can drag and drop, we can have all the cool little features that VirtualBox has to offer. So I, in, I, I always install this after every install, if it's a Linux box, if it's a Windows box, whatever, I always try to remember, at least I always try to remember to install the guest edition tools. So once this is done, 
hopefully it'll get done quickly. And you'll see this get bigger. Okay, reboot now, perfect. And then this should actually, I'm not gonna touch anything, it should auto resize. Once this auto resizes, we should be good. We'll see that in a moment once this comes back up. While that's doing that, optical drive. Okay, we should be good. All right, so let's go ahead and log in. Go oh, whoop. Go alt delete. All right, put my password in. And let's see if it goes big automatically. Once we log in, it should resize. So I hope. Let's see. Let's actually go like this and go like this. It didn't resize. That's strange. Let's see what happens. Unless it's just going to take a second. Like I said, it's running off of a external drive, so I'm not sure if this is taking a second. There it goes. Perfect. So it just took a second. So this is how we install it, get it up and running. And if we open up the server manager, we're going to be configuring this in the next video. We're going to be setting the local server configuration. We'll change the computer name, give it an IP address, do a whole bunch of little cool little things, and we'll go from there. All right. So hopefully you enjoyed video one. Thank you so much for viewing. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you. And until next time, be safe.